If you believe my videos can help other people, please like, share, and subscribe. Something came to my mind and I am going to share it. Years back, I was somewhere and where I live, I don't really live in like a very populated area, somewhat, but not like in a large way. So years back, I lived somewhere or close to somewhere that is very populated and to see so many people in one area like <laughs> it was really an experience really really an experience around that time I was younger and I did many things wrong. And as time passed by, I was getting worse. I was getting more rude, more mean, more probably hateful, bitter, and maybe so many other things. Like I was getting worse. In fact, which I don't think I have ever experienced this before or after, if I am saying that right. There was a time to where, like right in my chest area, I could feel like, uh, this may not make any sense to you. You may think Uncle Kev is strange and making stuff up. But at the time, I could feel like a uh, cold energy in my chest. Now, you know, you may say, well, Kevin, did it make you afraid? Like, did it frighten you? At that time, <laughs> I was really, really bad. I had a sense, I believe I had a sense that it was evil, but I was okay with it. Like, I probably can say I took pride in having it. That is how bad I was. And I believe I am being accurate in that. So I felt a cold energy like in my chest area and that may have been a demon or demons. I'm telling you now. And while I while I lived near that populated area, I was going to some other areas as well. But while I lived in that area, I was getting worse and worse and I did not want to leave. I thought I was having the best time of my life and I really thought so like I met a guy and um, through him I was going to do more evil something happened and I learned I had to leave where I lived and 
I thought it was so unfair. I thought that, like, someone was taking away my life. You know, my life as in my fun, my, I guess, experiences and stuff like that. And I think for years I was planning on how to get back to that city and probably surrounding cities. I was planning and planning and planning and planning. Now, if I was getting worse and worse from living in a certain area, like, don't you believe like, who do you think it was that got me to move away from that area? I believe it was God. We may want some things in life. We may believe like this and this are the best things for us. We need it, we want it, we want to keep it or whatever. But in truth, those things may be hurting us. Those things may be keeping us away from God. When I was younger, there was something I wanted. And <laughs> see, I think we make so many silly mistakes when we are young and probably older as well. There was something I wanted when I was younger. And As I think now, and probably after time, I think what came to my mind, God was protecting me from that. We may pray to God for, for certain things. We may believe we need certain things in our lives. So if we don't get it, we may blame people, we may blame God. We may say that life isn't fair, but what if you were to receive that thing? It probably would lead to your death. It probably would place you in bondage it probably would make your life more difficult. That thing that I wanted when I was younger, I got it and I wish I didn't. I thank God that he took me away from that place. I really thank God because I was getting worse. I felt that cold energy in my chest and I was okay with it. What if I could have done everything I wanted to do? I was planning on doing so much more evil. I could have died. I could have died in sin. So I would be in hell for entertainment because I wanted to do this and do that, have fun, sinful fun. And for years, I was trying to find a way back, but I believe it was so difficult for me to get back there. And I thank God for it. Now, I can go there now, but I probably... Now, if I do go, 
it would not be for the same reasons. But I really don't have like a fascination, fascination to go back there. Maybe for certain things, but as a whole, not really. Especially how times are now. You may believe you want or need something, but maybe it is a good thing you don't have it because whatever you may be trying to do or achieve or whatever, it may make your life worse. It may kill you. I used to think back in my past that you know when i lived in that area my life was so amazing my life was so great blah 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 you know i could do this and do that i wish i was back but now that i believe i have grown more in jesus christ I don't really think in that way. I am happy I don't live in that place anymore because, man, God knows what would have happened to me. I was so, I was so wild, like so careless very very careless i was doing things i was doing stuff that probably could have gotten me killed i was careless rude mean hateful extremely impatient somewhat patient but mostly well how can you be extremely impatient and patient i think you know what i mean by that <laughs> perhaps it is a good thing you don't have what you believe you need or should have god has protected me in so many ways man in so many ways. If you believe God hasn't answered some of your prayers, if you believe God has taken away some things you think you need, it is probably a good thing. I have changed so much. I like my life. Well, my life maybe to an earthly minded person, perhaps that person may believe my life now is not as interesting as my old life. But I am so much more content with my life now than it was before. Like, it's like my life has a purpose. Before I was out there doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that, not really having a purpose, just living. On my way to hell back then too, I think. So my life now is so much better. So, I think as you grow more in God, I think your understanding will get much better as well. So some of the things you may have thought you needed or wanted or whatever else, I think you will find that it was a good thing you did not have it. I think as humans, I think there is so much spiritual 
immaturity in us. And I don't think we really realize, in some cases, how much immaturity is in us until we grow more in Jesus Christ. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? So, never turn your back on Jesus Christ. Even if you think he has mistreated you, even if you think he have wronged you, perhaps you aren't understanding what really happened. Perhaps you don't see the overall picture. Right? Never turn your back on Jesus Christ, ever. Yes, I believe things can always get worse. Let me stop here. God bless you.